Hi, I'm Eric Sakimoto, and I'm District Sales Manager for Taylor Guitars. And I'm Mark Seal, host of the Ultimate Guitar Show and product specialist for Taylor Guitars. And we're here at Wildwood Guitars to do an overview on the Taylor K14CE Wildwood CV. And the K14CE is a Koa back and sides. Just look at that. That's double A Koa on the back and sides with some sapwood right there. Very beautiful. And it has a Sika spruce top on it. Now, the body shape is a grand auditorium. And if you're familiar with Taylor guitars, ever seen one on stage or heard one in a recording, there was a high probability that you heard a grand auditorium body shape. It is the signature tone of Taylor guitars. Now on the Koa K14CE, okay, it showcases an island vine inlay on the fretboard and on the headstock. It's got Koa perfluent around the edges and Koa rosette on the inside. Now with the Sitka spruce top, okay, when I always talk about Sitka spruce top, I always tell people that it was pretty much put on earth to be used as a guitar top. And the reason why is it has very long wood fibers that allow the guitar builder to cut it really thin, but it still has the strength and flexibility to produce great sound as a guitar top. So what Sitka spruce is known for is it's bright tone, and it's volume. Okay, so there's really no limit to the amount of sound that you can get out of a spruce top. The only thing that's gonna limit its volume is its body shape. Now the Grand Auditorium is a multi-purpose body shape. We call it the Swiss Army knife of body shapes, meaning that you can use it for a lot of different purposes and it can do it very well. So if you're the type of player that plays acoustically in your living room, and then later on that night, you're gonna plug in your guitar and play live with the full band. And then the next day, go into a recording studio, okay, a grand auditorium can do it, and can do it very well. Now, Hawaiian koa only comes from the island of Hawaii. We only get it from the big island. And in order for it to have this much figure to it, it has to grow above an elevation of 2,500 feet, and you can get it on private land. So it's very rare, and it's hard to get. As you can see, the guitar is really versatile. You can go from a nice mellow finger style type of effect to uh, full strumming in back, and it just keeps a very um, balanced sense of tone. The highs, the mids, the lows, everything kind of stay consistent, yet you do get that little more sparkle up on the top end as well. Now on the bass side of Koa, it's just a little bit bass than mahogany, but I like to call it patient wood because if you play the guitar for five, 10 years, it'll actually open up on the low end side and get about as bassy as East Indian Rosewood. So you get a nice range on the bass and high end sound, and it looks this good. So a Koa guitar is always a great guitar for a live setting. And if you know, if you wanna put your guitar up and show it off while you have friends over, it also does a good job doing that too. That's a great conversation piece. The other cool thing about it is if you don't wanna wait for the patient mm -hmm. wood to, to mature, you can always drop D tune in about five minutes. A tremendous amount of bass out of it <laughs> just by drop D. <laughs> All right, so that's the Taylor K14CE Wildwood CV, and this is your overview of this guitar. Mm -hmm.